know where the guy has got the phone there in front of him. It looks like he's texting. He's got it held directly in front of him, right in front of the steering wheel, and he's manipulating the screen with his right thumb, and you can tell that he's looking up, and then he looks down at the phone, and then he looks up, and he looks down at the phone. So we'll uh, have a conversation with him here pretty quickly. He spent some time looking at the cars in front of him, and then he goes back down to the phone. So I think it's pretty safe to say that he's texting. Hello, this contact's been recorded. The reason I stopped is for texting while you were driving. No, no, I was trying to put it in my navigation to Google Maps. Okay, so you're entering something into uh, GPS? That was my intent, yeah. So this is another one of those situations where, you know, we saw all of the indicators that are consistent with texting while driving. You know, he's got the phone directly in front of him. He's looking down at the phone. He's looking up at the road. He's manipulating the screen with his thumb. He's doing it over an extended period of time. And it turns out that all he's really doing is entering GPS information into the phone over uh, you know, an extended period of time because he's got to put the city and he's got to put the address in. He's got to put all of the other information in. And uh, therein lies one of the difficulties with the texting laws is it so, you know, everything else that you can do on your phone is just as dangerous as texting, but those other behaviors aren't necessarily illegal. Just keep in mind, I mean, you are kind of taking your eyes off the road for, you know, extended periods of time, and I don't want you to get in a crash. I understand. So, drive safe today. My name's Clark. And if you'll film when the light turns green, a lot of times they won't realize the light's, like right now, he's still sitting there, he's still texting, and he just realized it turned green. The slow turn. He's still texting. You see him cross the white line, or not cross it, but he's weaving a little bit in his traffic, in his lane of travel. This is a perfect example of distracted driving where, you know, if a bicyclist was in that bicycle lane, there's a potential he could have hit him with, their, with his mirror. Still weaving, getting close to the bicycle lane. Hello, sir, how are you? Good, good. Good, good. I'm, you're being audibly and visibly recorded today. I have a microphone on. Okay. Just so you know. Uh, I saw you texting while you were driving. Oh, I wasn't texting. You weren't texting? I, I had the phone on like this. Yes, sir. Looking at my trades like this. Looking at your trades? Yeah. What, like? Currency trades. Currency trades. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah I wasn't uh, texting. I was behind you way back there on uh, Orleans and Sunset, or okay. Orleans and Barclay. Okay. And that's where I saw you. You had the phone and you... Uh, I, I, I'm not going to say I wasn't using it, but I wasn't texting. Yeah, okay, so you were accessing I, I, the internet? I, yeah, I was. Totally okay, so I saw you accessing the internet. Um, the light turned green for you to make a left-hand turn, and you actually waited about a second and a half before oh, you really? started going because you were so focused on your phone. Did you realize that? I did not. You did not realize? And then uh, as you drove down Barkley, yeah. you were still focused on it, and you were kind of weaving a little oh, okay, bit. Okay, okay. Did you realize you were doing I that? I didn't. I didn't. Okay, and you realize, I mean, that's a bicycle lane that you were weaving against. Oh, okay. Do you understand that that's... It is a big safety concern. Uh, I know other states have it written where it's as simple as no handheld electronic devices. It's just that easy. Here in the city of Spokane, the prosecutors and the local judges have ruled that the law is pretty specific that it says texting. It doesn't say email or Facebook or changing my music. And so they've basically said that it, if they don't admit to texting, or don't deny it if they tell you that you know they were on Facebook or they were doing an email you're not going to get a committed finding here in Spokane that's the way that our prosecutors and judges have ruled